Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a quick master bedroom makeover. I'm going to be doing an accent wall and also doing a little bit of rearranging and redecorating. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started by clearing out the space. All right, so to get started on the wall, I'm using one by fours and one by threes. That's the wood I'm gonna be using for this project. And I'm starting off by putting the one by four all the way at the top as a trim piece. And it didn't quite go all the way to the end of the wall, so I had to cut another board and add to it. And I'll share that later. But right here, I'm just using the one by threes to help hold it in place while I took my nail gun and started nailing it up. I think that I'm going to hiding Somewhere by a gated star Baby, they ain't never gonna find me Once I got the 1x4 in place, I went outside and took another 1x4, measured out the window, and that's what I'm going to use to trim out the windows, just so everything looks really cohesive. So this is totally up to you. This is personal preference. You can glue the wood up on the wall as well before you nail it. I personally chose not to do that just in case if ever down the line I decide that I want to change this out. I can pop these pieces of boards off with minimal damage versus having a ton of glue up there. I would probably have to redo the entire wall. So I chose to not use any glue. And you'll notice that I just put a couple nails in each board and I started off with just a few just to make sure everything we you know measured out cor correctly and then I went in when it was all complete and nailed it to no end <laughs> like I put a ton of nails in this wood I also just wanted to point out that I accidentally measured wrong when I was at the store and I probably could have used one extra one by four but I'm glad I didn't because I had one on hand and I just pieced it together and later on I will wood fill it to where you won't even tell that there's a seam there All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start putting up the one by threes, and this is gonna give me those vertical lines that I was really wanting. Um, I'll insert a picture of some of my inspiration right here just so you can see the look I was going for. All right, so here's a few pictures that I found on Pinterest that I really loved, um, and I was really focusing on the lines of the wall, not necessarily their home decor, um, but I really love the just very classic vertical line look. It was very simple, timeless, and that's exactly what I wanted. to share with y'all where I'm at right now with the progress of the accent wall. So it's going fine. Everything's going great so far. Not great. It's kind of hard. <laughs> it's a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it turns out that our ceiling is not level. The floor is not level. The window is not center and the wall is kind of like bumpy. So definitely hitting some dilemmas, but it's okay. I'm going to roll through them knock it out anyway and hope for the best. <laughs> That's what I do with all my projects. 
So we'll see how it turns out. Worst case scenario, I'll just paint it white. And white is very forgiving. I feel like you can't really see a lot of imperfections if it looks really bad dark. So I'm not too worried. There's always a fix for everything. Um, but I just wanted to be honest with you guys. This is not going as planned. Like I thought it would be a little bit more smooth of a project. The measurements are what's getting me because the wall is so unlevel and the window's not center. It's no matter what I do, the boards are not going to be perfect. So, you know, it happens, but I'm going to keep going and hopefully it turns out really good. Okay, so now that all the boards are up, I'm going to take this lightweight spackling. It's just something I already had on hand and a old gift card. And I'm going to put this in the creases. The areas that were really bad, I decided to fill with this. And then later on in the video, I'm going to use just some regular um, caulk to caulk the seams and all of the grooves. Any holes that I see that are really big, I wanted to cover all those up. That way it was a seamless look. All right, so moving on to caulking all the seams, I'm using this DAP brand and I'm just doing a line down the wood and then I'm gonna take a baby wipe into my finger and run it down and this makes it seamless. This is so easy to do. Anybody can do this without a huge mess. Yes, baby. So I actually discovered this tip a long time ago. My parents used to work in construction and they used to do a lot of this kind of stuff. So I learned that years and years ago. And I also used this technique in my old mobile home whenever I went around the entire trailer sealing every little crease and seam off. It made a huge difference in the look of the house. And if you have trim work at the top of your ceiling, if you notice around the top how it has like a little gap, if you go around and do this, it will totally transform the space. It's crazy how something so small can make such a huge difference. So today I am painting the wall a very dark color and I honestly didn't know if I should paint the baseboards or not. So I just went with my gut and decided to not paint the baseboards and leave those white. So I'm using this scotch blue um, tape and plastic mix and this stuff is great. If you can get the hang of using it, it's a little, it can get a little messy. Sometimes I get aggravated with it, but overall it's a really great product. It already has the plastic on there. You just kind of tape it up and unroll the plastic and it covers um, I think it, let me look at the package. It says that it opens to 48 inches. So it covers a good amount of space so you don't get paint all over the floor. So today I'm using the Sherwin-Williams Showcase Stain Blocking Paint and Primer Mix in the color Peppercorn. Now this color is very dark, totally out of my comfort zone. I would typically go with white, cream, lighter colors, but I told y'all that I really wanted a focal wall. I wanted this wall to pop. As soon as you walked in the room, I wanted this to stand out. So I got on Pinterest, I looked up a ton of colors, and this seemed to be a very popular color for accent walls, and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go for it. I bought a quart size of it, and I just did it and it looks so good. I'm so happy with the color, but I am just starting off by painting around all of the corners and edges and then I'll go in with a roller and roll the rest of the paint on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll on the rest of the paint now that I've gotten like all of the trim work done. Um, and I wanted to mention that this paint is amazing quality. I can't get over how good just the one coat looked. I, all I did was one coat on this wall. I didn't feel like it was even necessary to do two coats. I just did a good one coat and that was all it needed. It definitely, definitely will be my go-to uh, paint if I ever decide to paint anything in the future. Sometimes buying a little bit more expensive paint is totally worth it, depending on the project you're doing and if you're willing to put in extra effort to do extra coats. Sometimes it's best to just buy that good coverage paint. for 
After getting all the painting done, I'm going to go ahead and put the receptacle plates back on and then we're going to go ahead and start moving around the bedroom and cleaning the floors and all that. You had me at a Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday All right, so this is the next day. I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the room. I am using these flat sheets as curtains. They're just the most inexpensive way to get white, long curtains. I just buy really inexpensive clips off Amazon and use the flat sheets and they work out perfect. The pillow covers I'm using today I got from Walmart. They were about $7 a piece, but they're very big pillow covers and they don't quite fit the pillows that I have. So I will be on the lookout um, to get bigger ones or possibly even make my own. So we'll definitely see about that. Um, but I also got this Happiness is Homemade pillow from Walmart. And then this blanket that I'm going to use, I purchased off Amazon. I highly, highly recommend it. It's so pretty and so flowy and extremely, extremely soft. Even Zoe loves it. <laughs> um, but I will have that link down below in the description box if you're interested. Okay, so whenever I was thinking about decorating the space, I really wanted to keep it very clean, airy feeling, but also cozy at the same time. So I decided that instead of using a bunch of like small home decor pieces, that I would just use a little bit of greenery on each side. So this first vase is from Walmart and the greenery stems are from Hobby Lobby. I always get those on the 50% off sale. And then this plant is from Walmart and the vase is from TJ Maxx. So really quick, I wanted to share with you a before clip of the bedroom, just so you can see like the full transformation. But this is what it looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. I 
I really hope you enjoyed watching me transform this space today. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!